Welcome back to Lyxo Studio Software Tutorial. In this video, we'll cover the basics of loading and browsing data. To import point clouds, click Import Data. And continue with the default coordinate settings. When loading, you can click the progress bar below to view the loading progress. If you need to import control points or trajectory files, you need to select .csv and .txt files on the right side and then proceed. For control points, the format is point name and XYZ coordinates. When adding in trajectory files, change the first column to GPS time and confirm the next three columns are X, Y, and Z coordinates. To browse your data, Click and hold left click to rotate. Use the scroll wheel to zoom in or out, and drag right click to shift and pan. To remove a layer from the current window, untick its box. To change the layer property, click on the layer first and adjust the parameters in the property window. To remove a layer from the data list, click on that layer and click delete. With the quick access bar, you can toggle between the six views. Hit reset to go back to the default top view. There's also an option to switch between orthogonal and perspective view. By default, the axis lock is on, but you can customize axis locks, which will give you more freedom while exploring your data. To see the information of a point, click the small triangle on the measurement tool icon and select point. Then, left-click to measure a point from the point cloud. Click the triangle again to switch to different measurement tools. To measure length, left-click to start and click again to add nodes, and finally double-click to finish. Cumulative length will be displayed. To measure an angle, Select three points from the point cloud to form an angle. To measure multiple points at once, use the multipoint measurement tool. Left click on the point cloud to select points, then click export to save their info as .txt. Finally, We'll go through the EDL function. The EDL mode enhances the 3D effect of the point clouds to assist visual interpretation. But note that when the point cloud is displayed in RGB, it will make the point seem less visually appealing and the color might seem less accurate. Thus it's recommended that you only enable it in other display modes.